So we have seen Tesla go up, Bitcoin go up, Ethereum go up, BSC go up, Dito go up, Merrimart go up. Should you chase those stocks while they have pushed up already what should you do if you're so tempted to add more at a higher price what should you do if you were not able to buy lower should you try to chase them at their highs in this video we're gonna talk about chasing prices higher so if you want to know more about that then check this video out Hey guys, so over the past days and weeks, we have seen stock prices of Dito, BSC, APL, MM, ASEN move massively up. We've also seen foreign stocks from Tesla to Square to Fiverr to Apple to Google. And we've also seen cryptocurrencies from Bitcoin and Ethereum push high upon high upon high and upon high and over the past few days i've received so many questions from all of you on whether you should chase prices going up every time we see markets go up it creates a buzz it creates excitement even if you bought at a lower price there's a temptation that i want to add some more i want to buy it at a much higher price even if i bought it lower because there's an expectation that it might go much 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 higher still and for those who have not entered when you see your friends start to make money there's also an urge for you to buy at a much much higher price and i guess this is one of the biggest things also that is pushing me to buy at certain prices that you're analyzing a stock you were watching it and you knew you were supposed to buy it pero hindi mo nabili only to see it start to go up and then there's something at the back of your head telling you to buy it right here right now should you actually chase prices that have gone up the answer to that is if you are just deciding based on emotion and you are just buying just for the sake of chasing prices then it's wrong i've had my share of mistakes i've had my share of wrongdoings because i got so emotional and i wanted to chase it please do note that markets always regardless if it's crypto regardless if it's philippine stocks regardless if it's u.s stocks they will always come to a point where it will always have to correct and it will always have to go down at a certain point in time and the reason why i'm saying this is i know there's a lot of you who are watching that you may not have invested yet for a year or wala pa kayong two years or wala pa kayong three years and hindi nyo pa talaga naranasan din yung malalaking drops not just in the philippine markets not just in u.s markets but also in cryptocurrency i know there's a lot of talk about cryptocurrencies being the future that it's just early that it could still go up but that being said if you buy at a high price there will come a point in time that it will also have to drop the question is when it starts to drop are you okay to experience a 10% loss, 20% loss. Let me tell you this. A couple of weeks ago, the first time Bitcoin went above 40 plus thousand US dollars, it retraced to 38, 36, 34, 32, 30, and it went around 28 US dollars. That means it dropped around 30 plus percent in just a few days. Can you take volatility that way? Can you take a drop that big? We've also seen that in local stocks. It happened to BSC. It happened to APL. It happened to Dito. That massive swings up brought stock down also at a very 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 fast pace now you have to realize this do not chase stocks does that mean that it doesn't have the possibility to go up still even if you buy it at a higher price of course it can still go up but if you're just buying just for the sake of chasing prices then that's where you will make a lot of mistakes. That's where it becomes wrong. That's where your emotions are kicking you. That's where you tend to put in more than what you're supposed to do. Please remember, there will always be an opportunity in the sun. Kung naiwanan ka ngayon, you can still come back and buy in later on. Or there could be another crypto, there could be another stock, or there could be another asset that you could place your money into that will give you a better yield. Please remember this. In investing, it will always be about the margins that you will have when you start to see markets go up. In investing, it will always be coming in at the most efficient time possible. Now, please remember this. It's okay to buy higher if you are buying it 
from a reference point of technicals. Meaning, you're buying it because it's still in an uptrend. You're buying it because it formed a higher high or a higher low. You are buying it because it broke out from another resistance. Then I think it's okay that way because you have a reference point and you are not just merely trying to chase price. You are using either Bollinger Bands also crossing up from a certain level. That's okay as long as you have a reference point and you are not buying just because you are scared that sayang, sayang to, hindi ko to nabili. If you're just trying to chase prices, then you're gonna lose money that way. If you're buying because you have a basis from technicals, then kahit Bitcoin binili nyo, kahit US stocks yan, or kahit local stocks yan, then it's supposed to be okay. I've seen a common theme uh, from all of your messages that nakabili ako nandito ng 6, nakabili ako nandito ng 8, okay pa ba magdagdag ngayon? Nakabili ako ng Mary Mart ng IPO, okay pa ba magdagdag ngayon? Or hindi ako nakabili ng ASEN, ng 3 piso pa siya, pero nakita ko umaakit pa rin siya ngayon, pwede pa ba ako pumasok? Please remember, the decision to come in will always be from you. But the warning is, dapat hindi kayo nag-chase ng prices. Okay lang bumili as long as kasama sa plano nyo. Meaning, kung Bitcoin yung binibili nyo, inaral nyo na tingin mo because of what's happening, because people are starting to accept it more, then the value of it will go higher because there will come a point in time where people will be willing to swap it at a much higher price. In the same way, you're buying maybe Tesla because you're thinking that, hey, electric vehicles are the future and if they start producing more and because they have so much cash and because they're doing this, then buying it right now might be also cheaper still. In the same way, also, you're looking at, hey, Biden won as president, then most likely the stocks that will probably do well also are companies that are highly connected to renewable energy. So if that's your narrative that it's backed up by research, it's backed up by conviction, then you can also do so. Or if you're looking at, hey, Apple, their services will just continue to increase. And I'm buying Apple because it's a brand and I was not able to buy Apple last March. If you are buying it based on something that's backed by research, by all means. If you're buying it based on emotion, then I think that's where the underlying problem will be. And that's where you will lose a lot of money. And I'll say this over and over also that if papasok pa lang kayo ngayon, better put small amounts first to actually try it. And it's so easy na madala ng emotion yun that everything is going up. And it's so easy to transfer money from one platform to another to be able to buy. But pag na-entice kayo, Wag galawin ang savings na dapat pang savings. Wag magbawas ng emergency fund thinking na baka wala na naman masama mangyayari. Invest ko na lang to kaysa matulog sa inflation, kaysa matalo na inflation. And it's easy to get tempted now to invest because inflation is higher and you have to beat inflation. But please remember this. Never, ever, 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 ever take out that cash na dapat pang savings. Take out that cash na dapat pang emergency fund para i-invest nyo. Never give in to that temptation. I'm saying this because I've seen a lot of people make that mistake na pang tuition ng anak nila three months into the future, pang emergency fund nila or pang health care fund na dapat pag may nagkasakit, yun yung bubunutin. Inisip nila, wala naman magkakasakit eh. Tapos yun yun yung nagay nila kasi thinking that, ah hindi, pag binenta ko to, mababalik ko yung pere. Kaso, what if hindi? Do not give in to greed. Do not give in to wanting to earn more. Don't just look at the possible upside. Look at the possible downside. Look at the narrative that kung linagayin nyo itong ngayon, pero bumaba siya ng malaki, anong mangyayari sa pera nyo? It's easy to get that debt now, especially for cryptos, especially for other stocks because of the margins, meaning pwede kayo humiram ng pera sa platform na pinag-i-investa ninyo para mas kumita kayo ng malaki. And it's so tempting na, teka, $100 lang yung pera ko, $200 lang yung pera ko, $300 lang yung pera ko, pero pwede siya mag-function na parang uh, $1,000, $500, kahit maliit lang yung ko. It's so tempting to do that, that pag gumalaw siya ng 10%, ha, kita ko, pwedeng double or triple that. Please remember, leverage, margin, is still debt. It's still you borrowing money that you don't own. So my suggestion also is this. Kahit umakakyat yung stock, only please, guys, use money that you have that's allotted. Because I'm saying this from someone who has seen markets for over a decade. Napabalik din naman yun eh. It will always retrace. It will always go down. It will always reach a point where more sellers at the top taking profits will bring markets lower and you will always have your opportunity in the sun to come back and buy. 
And this may not be the sexiest advice that I could give. This may not be the most popular advice that, that I could give you, telling you uh, not to buy stocks na umaakyat. But it's prudent that you do not give in to your emotions. It's prudent that you do not allocate more than what's needed. It's prudent that you just follow and stick to your plan. Na kung talagang 100,000 lang dapat lalagay mo sa stock market, 5,000 dollars lang lalagay mo sa US market, 50,000 pesos lang lalagay mo sa cryptocurrency market, then you stick to that. Always follow what you have allotted. Do not go more than that. Bakit ko kasi sinasabi? Kasi the more you put in money na hindi, hindi dapat nandun, mas madaling maging emotional, mas madaling matakot. Dapat gagawin nyo when you are investing in the market, it should be all God's blessing that you're putting in money that inaral nyo, sobra, intended talaga siya para doon. Para buong tapang, buong loob nyo, malalagay yung pera nyo na kahit magkaroon ng volatility, you won't be scared. Kahit magkaroon ng volatility, you will still have the confidence to be able to invest and you will still have the confidence kung bumaba man, you can hold on to it if you're an investor or you can cut if you are a trader. Please, don't chase everything because it will always retrace back. You will have an opportunity for you to buy back again if the technicals and the fundamentals are telling you also that it's still okay to buy at this particular price, you follow that as long as it's not based on your emotion. So there, I hope you got a lot from this and I hope that you like my segment where I just share my heart, I just share as raw as it can be, ideologies and things that are dear to me with just one goal in mind to give you as much value as possible so that you guys win wherever you may be in life. Whether you're earning a lot right now, or you're losing a lot right now, or you're just actually starting, I just want you to have the ability to let your assets work hard for you and to do it right. I'll say this over and over. The fastest way to get rich is to do it slow. Kaya wag kayo magmadali, wag kayo maingit. Kung mas madaming tao, kumikita ng malaking yun, mas hindi kayo nakakasabay. Kung mas madaming tao ngayon, mas okay yung kinikita nila, pero kayo, mali yung napili niyo. Because if you do it right, you do it well, the next time the cycle happens or the next time an opportunity like this will happen, it will be your turn. So build that skill, learn from what's happening, continue to research, continue to study, and continue to keep on pushing and allocating money that's supposed to be for investing. So I guess that's it for now. My name is Marvin Germo. I'm a stock market trader and investor. And if you want to learn more about me, links about who I am, the books that I've written are in the description below. And for those who want to learn more about technical analysis, we have a Zoom course that's happening at the end of February. It will be weekend, Saturday, Sunday, half day, sessions only. Links are in the description below for those who want to join us and who want to learn from the new normal or learn stocks from the comforts of your computer on a live Zoom course. So if you guys got a lot from this and you stayed up until the end and you still like sessions like this, comment algo, 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 algo and hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, smash the bell so you get updated every time I come up with new content about investing. So that's it for now. Marvin Germo, I hope this video helps you trade well, trade strong, trade smart. See you all again soon guys and God bless you all.